What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here at 88 Rotors Off-Road and welcome back to our shop. We have a Tundra compilation for you guys today. Starting off with this one right here that we're doing a chop to clear some 37 inch tires. For the suspension setup on this one, we're going with the King 2.5 remote finned reservoir coilover and shock setup all around. We're pairing them up with an Icon Billet, Delta Joint Pro upper control arm in the front end and Old Man Emu rear lift springs. Our shop, 88 Rotors, is located in sunny Southern California in the city of Baldwin Park. That's about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, reach out to us anytime by phone or you can always message us by clicking on the link in the description and going to our contact form. For the wheels on this one, we're going with a set of Method Race Wheels. These are going to be the MR305s in a 17 by 8.5 size with a plus 25 offset. And like we mentioned earlier, we're going to be wrapping it up in a set of 37, 12 and a half, 17 Toyo tires. While we perform the horn chop on that one, we pull in a second Tundra. This right here is a TRD Off-Road 4x4 package that we're installing a Dobinson's 4x4 IMS lift setup on here. We're also doing the Icon Billet Delta Joint Pro upper control arms, but no chop on this one since we're doing 35 inch tires on it. We stock the Dobinson IMS setup for the third generation Tundras. We have them with black springs, red springs, and their aqua colored spring, which is often also called teal or turquoise. And here it is with the beautiful black colored springs. Just kidding, it's red. For the wheels and tires on this one, we're going with a set of Method MR305s also in double black. This one's gonna be in a 17 by eight and a half size with a zero offset. We're running 35 inch tires on it so we can run a little bit lower offset on here and get full clearance without needing a chop. Minimal modifications are needed. We just need to push the fender liner forward and back on it to get full clearance. Here you can see our tech installing the rear Dobinson springs. Our tire techs have already mounted and balanced the wheels and tires and bringing it over to prep to install them. Our other tech is preparing the rear shocks to be installed. As you can see, our shop 88 Rotors uses teams to perform jobs. That way we cut your wait time down drastically. When some guys ask you for a couple days to do the job, we ask for a couple of hours. Dobinson IMS lift setup has been installed with the Icon upper control arms. The new wheels and tires are on as well, so we're bringing it out for a quick test drive. I do apologize for the shakiness here. I accidentally recorded it in slow-mo, so once you speed it up, it gets choppy like that. And back over to the Tundra that we're installing the 37 inch tires on. We've already installed the King Shocks all around with the rear OME lift springs and the front billet Delta Joint Pro upper control arms. The shocks were adjusted to about three inches of lift in the front end to clear the 37 inch tires with the help of the chop. We're running a hybrid tire on this one. It's a 37, 12 and a half, 17 Toyo Open Country RT. We hope that you're enjoying the video so far, and if you do so, please find time to click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It makes a big difference for this video and the channel itself, and it definitely encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. And if you haven't gotten enough here, check us out on our Instagram. You can find us at 88 Rotors Off-Road. The new suspension setup installed with the new wheels and tires, we bring it down to the ground and torque all four wheels and tires down to spec. We're gonna bring this one out for a quick test drive soon. What do you guys think of the 37 inch tires on the third generation Tundra? Such a big body vehicle, right? I think it looks great. Next up, we have a white Tundra TRD Pro that's going with a Westcott Designs lift kit to retain the factory TRD Pro Fox suspension. The Westcott Design lift kit for the Tundra TRD Pro consists of the front preload collar and top strut spacer. It also has the bump stop spacer in the front end. For the rear end, it comes with a coil spacer and a spacer for the rear shocks. And fast forward, the Westcott Designs lift kit has been installed. We're gonna bring this one out now for a quick test drive. Here at 88 Rotors, we stock the full lineup of third generation Westcott Design lift kits for all trims and models, including the TRD Pro. And if you want something that's a step up from that, we also carry the Dobinson's 4x4 IMS lift setups like the one we showed you earlier in the video. We also carry Kings and Fox, including the very hard to find Fox 2.5 Performance Elite Series. We have those in stock and ready to rock as of today april 14th 2024 we have about three full pallets of those check us out at 88 rotorsoffroadcom if you're looking for a lift kit for your truck next up we have another tundra limited 4x4 with a trd off-road package this one's also getting the very popular dobinson 4x4 ims lift package with the icon billet delta joint pro upper control arms 
the owner of this vehicle decided to go with some 18 inch wheels. They're going to be the MR305s in an 18 by 9 with a positive 18 offset in a method bronze color. Wrapping it up in a 35, 12 and a half, 18 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2. All is good, so we're going to pull this one out for a quick test drive. Here's yet another Dobinson IMS setup with the same Icon Billet Delta Joint Pro upper control arms. This one decided to go with a set of Aqua, Teal, or also known as Turquoise Springs on the Dobinson IMS setup. We also installed a sway bar drop spacer on here to bring everything back in line. The owner of this Tundra decided to go with a Method race wheel, the MR305, which is a very popular wheel in a 17 by 8.5 size with the zero offset. Color of choice here is the double black finish. And we wrap them up in a 35, 12 and a half, 17 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2. We have some time, we're gonna throw in a G-Wagon 4x4 squared. We're doing 40 inch tires on the factory wheels here. We're running the 40, 15 and a half, 22s on the factory Mercedes wheels. These 4x4 squares come with about 18 inches of ground clearance out of the box with the factory portal axles. That's ridiculous, in a good way. But after today, a slight adjustment of the coilovers and ditching the factory 36 inch tires and going up to 40 inch tires, will get about 21 inches of total ground clearance then. Don't you wish our Toyota trucks get that much clearance? Next up, we have a Bronco that we're gonna do an iBox setup on. We're doing the coilovers for front and rear with the SPC upper control arms. Throwing on some 37 inch Toyo Open Country RT tires on this one. And here are the iBox coilovers installed with the SPC upper control arms. And this is the finished product. 37 inch tires on this two door Bronco with an iBock and SPC upper control arm setup. Thank you very much for joining us today, guys. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell. That way you'll get alerted the next time we post another video. Until then, take care, guys.